Tonight, new information about the death of another NC State student this school year. This is the 10th student death since August of 2022. Friends say Timothy Parker died of a drug overdose off campus. WRL's Monica Casey is live now after speaking with students with the roommates who say he accidentally took fentanyl. Monica? That's right. Timothy Parker's friends say this was a tragic accident. They tell me he was a junior engineering student from Wilmington. Those friends say Parker accidentally overdosed on fentanyl early last Friday morning. Timothy Parker's friends say he had a smile that could light up the room. Savannah Blackwood tells me there was a 100% chance of laughter when he was around. I met Timmy first, like, in the dining hall. He came up to a group of me and my friends that were sitting there, and he was like, hey, can I sit with you guys? And that was literally it. Parker's roommate, Nicholas Guy, says he was an all-around great person. He always came in with a smile. It never really seemed like anything really ever phased him. The incident report from Raleigh police shows they arrived on scene at Parker's house for an overdose call just after 1.45 Friday morning. It's kind of just a shock, the, the permanency of it. You know, he's not going to be here anymore. It's definitely the most difficult thing I've ever been through. Um, when you're like with someone all the time, it's kind of just like really weird for them to not be there. Parker's friends say while they are comforted by their memories of him, the knowledge that they won't be able to make new ones is difficult. Just keep your friends close and, you know, just don't take anything for granted, I guess. And both of those students have known Parker since they all started at NC State their freshman year. Deborah. Such a difficult time for that campus. Monica Casey, live from NC State. Thank you, Monica. A tragedy that happens all too often. More than 4,000 people in North Carolina died from drug overdoses in 2021, and more than 75% of those deaths involved fentanyl. It's a topic we are exploring extensively in our brand new WRL documentary, Crisis Next Door. It airs tomorrow night right here at 730, and we'll explain why the drug is so deadly and how it's ending up in every drug on the market. You can watch it right here on WRL or on WRLDocumentaries.com again tomorrow at 730.